All right, hello, fellow jet planes. This is your captain speaking, Jammer up. James, but you guys can call me like the guy who takes boat. pride that we killed Please. David, or well, JJ for short. And welcome back to Let's Play Minutes. Minutes. It's the show with the crap title, really where we play games that I've played before, and we make some new memories. And it is with a deep oh. heart and a pit in my stomach that I say this is the final episode of Let's Play Minutes. The Last of Us. It is a bigger episode running at 54 minutes. However, I couldn't get myself to split this into two episodes. I didn't want to give you guys two shorts of episodes. And I feel like oh, yeah. putting spring yeah. all in one section. So I'm coming back. But let's so listen to Ellie here. This big plane full of people, and everyone is screaming and yelling because the plane's going down. So I walk to the cockpit, open the door. There's no pilot. I try to use the controls, but I obviously have no clue how to fly a plane. And right before we crash, I wake up. I've never been on a plane. Isn't that weird? Well, you know, dreams are weird. I actually think that whole plane dream, as we're going to fast forward here, that whole plane dream is kind of a... <laughs> prediction, a forecast, a um, foreshadowing, if you will, of the end of this game. Ellie's the pilot of this plane when she was a passenger. Ellie has the keys to stop Ellie. this infection. She's immune. She could be the cure, Ellie. but she doesn't know what she's doing. The lighter. And the end part of it does play into it as well. But Ellie has been depressed, and rightfully so, since the David incident. Even though Joel is trying his best to dad it up. Damn it, Ellie. Ellie! Why are you so Ellie. sidetracked all the time? You gotta see this. We gotta what see. Are you kidding me? It's a giraffe. This scene gets me choked up every bit. Come on, hurry up. Just a little bit, a little teary-eyed, uh, happiness. This is definitely the calm before the storm. You see this? Joel won't give a fuck about wildlife. He'll touch it if he wants. This whole world's his. Slow down, kiddo. Come on. <laughs> oh. Again, just rewatching all of this. The music in the background. <laughs> They're giraffes, Sally. I wonder if she even knows what a giraffe is. Oh, and this definitely is the calm before the storm. We 
we don't have to do this. You know that, right? Ah, Joel, stop pulling at my heartstrings. The Eruption. Go back to Tommy's. Be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've been through. It can't be for nothing. And the last bit of hope. Look, I know you mean well, but there's no halfway with this. Once we're done, we'll go wherever you want, okay? Well, I ain't leaving without you. Since we'll wrap this up. And we'll get up to this last looting section over here. This place takes me back. How so? It was right after everything went down. I ended up in a triage just like this. Everywhere you look, you just saw families torn apart. Whole damn world seemed to have turned upside down in a blink. Is that after you lost Sarah? Yes, it was. I can't imagine losing someone you love like that. Losing everything that you know. I'm sorry, Drew. Both characters have grown so much. It's okay, Ellie. Oh, this game literally does just hit you right in the heartstrings. Oh. We good? You good over there? I believe this is the last crafting bench, too. But before we go... Hey, Joel. I got something for you. Here. Maria showed this to me. I, uh... I stole it. I hope you don't mind. Damn thief. But thank you. Well, no matter how hard you tried, I guess you can't escape your past. <laughs> thank you. So how spring works, it's the culmination of everything. One last loot section, just like that. The calm before the storm, which we just had. And two big fight sections a infected fight section and a human fight section and in this tunnel we've got our infected and you can go about each section two ways stealthfully and unstealthfully luckily for you and convenient as it may be I attempt both of these back to back I go Attempt stealth, go loud, and then I attempt stealth and stay stealthily. But there is a combination of every single infected in here. There are clickers, there are runners, and there are bloaters. Lots and lots of bloaters. So no matter what happens, I always get through here, this path, quite easily. I am absolutely tiptoeing it here because there are dozens of infected in this hall.
No, hey, look, JJ. There's some of that flamethrower fuel. You could be using a flamethrower right now, but you're not, because you're a dumbass. Ugh. So, redemption, the third try. I missed two clickers. I ain't missing you. Missed him. Yeah, and those were runners. So, instead of being nice and neat in an easy killable fashion, they are now patrolling. I screwed up. Bad. <laughs> Woo. Thank God he didn't see me. Thank God I'm not blind. All those spoiler alert. I am quite blind here in a few moments. Sneaky, sneaky. Two bloaters and a clicker. I am so concerned about this clicker. Look behind me for the runner. I know right around this corner, that corner over there, is the exit. Check my crafting situation, all right. I don't see this runner to the left of me. Yeah. Clickers, two bloaters, runners running after me. Get rid of him. Try to back up. Nope. 137. So, take two of let's try to shoot these guys. I am waiting this shot out. Got him that time. We'll go ahead and grab these supplies over here. All right, James, this is time to redeem yourself. Two more shots. Two more shots and you make your life so much easier. One more. I also get very unlucky with my arrow situation. I don't even get one arrow back. And boom, shakalaka. So I just made this part so much more easier for me and let's just fast forward me checking my inventory and literally tiptoeing through this place I look over here I'm like there's no way and because I killed those three runners there's no one patrolling this area And we get around. Now I am going to break the one rule that I made as I tiptoe past this runner. 
I'm gonna go attic crawl. I know I said I'm only gonna use shivs on doors. I lied. I am going to be using a shiv on this clicker because I'm almost positive we can't sneak past them and I'm not gonna risk it. I've made it so far already. I made three bow and arrow shots because we all know I can't make bow and arrow shots. I am not risking this in the slightest. I will wait till this bloater makes another rotation. And we grab and we stab. And slowly, carefully make your way. That crate could get us up there. Ellie, get on up there and drop that crate for me. Yeah, Ellie, make some noise. It's fine because these bloaters and clickers are deaf. We didn't have to do anything because apparently this doesn't attract them. I even look back at them like, um, hello? But we'll fast forward this section. Basically us getting to an area. There's a couple of puzzles in between the section now, but that is the main infected done. However, when games do this, when games give you ammunition, and more than they usually do. You know something about to go down. Come on. Get that door open. <laughs> yep. Miss. Hit. Hit. You okay? I don't even know where he came from, in all honesty. I think he just apparated. And I stand corrected. This is the last repair bench here. And I'll let you guys check out the last little bits of my supplies that I ended up using. And the last shiv door Watch your head. that I end up using. And just like the first shiv door I ever used, there you go. this shiv door sucked. I got an arrow. Some meds, which is fine, sure. But that's it. Arrow meds and some powder. This was not worth it. And some gears. Uh, no. Not worth the shiv. I go and I get my uh, shoddy up a bit. My shoddy up a bit. But that's it. And there's the hospital. And we solve a puzzle, I guess is what it is. I don't know how to explain this part. I guess it is a puzzle. All you got to do is it's one of those find the pallet things again get her across it's really not terribly entertaining to watch more of a mental thing for you I 
she goes to let the ladder down, and then it's like, oh wait, the ladder came off, but this ladder looks different from everything. You can use it as a bridge, like it's fine. Again, you can see what's happening through fast forward. There's no need to show this full time. This part's actually kind of petrifying, and it doesn't involve humans or clickers. Just especially with how much running water. Running water actually s scares me. I think I have an irrational fear towards it. Okay, come on, jump. You're gonna catch me? I got you. See? You didn't even need me. Get the hell off this thing. Oh, God. Damn, rusted everything. Ow. Climb, 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 climb. Where are we looking? Hey, Ellie, you dumbass. You can't swim. Why are you on here? Uh, ow! Ellie! Can't swim. Get her, Joel. Uh oh. Getting flashbacks to Sarah, the first episode. She's not breathing. Hands in the fucking air. <laughs> Dick. Oh, hi, Marlene. Fireflies. Sorry about that. They didn't know who you were. And Ellie. She's all right. We brought her back. You came all this way. How'd you do it? Magic. It was her. One well, and her, but also magic. Magic was she a big part of it. To get here. Maybe it was meant to be. <laughs> I lost most of my crew crossing the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up, and somehow we find you just in time to say you left. Maybe it was meant to be. Maybe. Maybe. Take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care I of her. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. What do you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, is somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. 
Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine? A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. It does. She has to die. Find someone else. There is no one else. So you were gonna show me where she <coughs> Stop. <coughs> I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me or even her. There is no other choice here. Oh. March him out of here. If he tries anything, shoot him. Erase this thing. Kill him. Screw you, Marlene. That's the one thing I like about this game is they take the right thing to do. Yeah. Which, come on, it's one sacrifice for a vaccine. To the thing that ended the world, and they make you feel like they are the bad guys. Brilliant storytelling. Well. It doesn't help that this firefly is a dick. I said move. Give me an excuse. That's my bag. What the fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said keep walking. Where is the operating room? I ain't got time for this. Oh. Where? Screw your testes. You earned a bullet to the head. I promised a gunfight. Let's do this. Trying to be sneaky, a little bit. And I'm like, oh, let's try to take him out one by one. If you thought there were a lot of f infected in the tunnel, these humans go hold my beer, hold my antidote. Joel will kill every last one of you until he gets Ellie. Ow, ow. Give me your assault rifle. So stealth. That's kind of out the window. There will be a firefight. Oh, missed. Let's go cut him off at the pass. I don't got a flamethrower, but I got an assault rifle. And a whole bunch of meds that I've been saving. So 
shouldn't have been sneaky. Kind of wait this guy out. But I don't really have any patience for that. Am I now? You can't make me. I should run up on someone with no armor. Again, these people will flank you like no tomorrow. There is no safeness behind cover. But again, I feel bold. I got armor. I got bandages. I promised y'all a firefight. I'll even bring the fisticuffs out. Even yelled, flank him. You can't flank shit! <laughs> that squeak scared the shit out of me. Dude ate so much ammunition. Again, armor sucks. Yeah, but I got a Molotov. I also may or may not be out of medkits already. Took his helmet off. Ran out of ammo, though. the last guy in here. Nope. See ya! Dude. We fucking boost road dot him right across the floor. We'll go ahead and sneak by these guys. But of course, one guy's always got to be late to the party. Now what I should have done is I should have just ran into that door with light in it. But instead, I try to sneak around him. Try my best to be sneaky. Get off of me. Oh, just when you thought that was it. Let's 
that's cool. They also know when you're out of bullets. Miss. Hit, hit. All I have to do is make this shot. No. 138. And of course, the checkpoint is way back here. So, I'm only going to 200 speed fast forward this because I try something I've never tried before successfully. Stealth. I'm going to attempt to stealth my way through this section. Something I've never done successfully before. Instead of using all that ammunition, all that health. Just going to stealth. And you know what? What took me all that time to get to the same point before? It took me that. That's all it took me. How easy was that? Now I get to craft all those med kits. And the last guy that shows up is greeted by a nice brick to the face. A knife, take his gun, and we leave. And we leave. Oh. I've never done that successfully before. It's just stealth that section. Never. It's crazy how easy that is when you take your time. Yeah, keep trying to stealth me. You know, ambush me? That's nice. I'm all stealth. my way past this ambush here. Not even really an ambush, more like a they're gonna they know where I'm coming from. We take him out. Got very lucky there. Just being sneaky, sneaky. Here I am, thinking I'm home free. Little do I know, there are two guys right here. Thank God I had that hatchet, and thank God I had bullets. Molotov. Mother trucker. Get that guy out of here. And then, I attempt something I've never really attempted before. I know the exit's behind me. I know how hard it's going to be. So I'm like, I wonder. Fuck it. It's unlocked. Oh my god, the amount of times that I've had to just kill the people there. It takes so long. The door is just unlocked. My mind is blown. That's the biggest gaming discovery of 2020 from a 2014 game. But then Joel... Makes a choice. We make a what choice. I won't let you take her. This is our future. The world, the, the humanity, or Ellie's life. No! Of course we're picking Ellie. You fucking animal. Ellie, shut the hell up. Yeah, Carrie. Shit. 
get out of here. Take a breath, Joel. You can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. Hey, for you to decide. It's what she'd want. Yeah, it is what she'd want. She hinted at it all the time. Rook. You can still do the right thing here. She won't feel any. We did the right thing. It was humanity or Ellie. <laughs> and you're damn right we picked Ellie. <sighs> Fuck do you think no. this is? Stop looking for a cure. <laughs> that is not true in the slightest. I'm taking this home. I'm sorry. Let me go. Please. You just come after her. Oh. Ruthless. Get double tapped, bitch. But to go back to that plane analogy, she was the cap, or she was the pilot. She was just about to save like the world, working. land the plane, and then she woke up. Was it the right call? Who knows? Was it a selfish call? Yeah. Right. Joel's been through a hell of a lot, and this game pretty, yeah. does a very good job of making you feel justified for Joel. I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. But Joel has a daughter now. Sure. 
Ellie has a father. The world will forever be full of clickers. And there's Tommy's town. Just a little bit further now. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. She wanted Her to name die. Was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And no matter what. Keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right Swear now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the fireflies is true. Oh. I swear. I'm lie right to your face. It's what you need to hear. That might bite us in the ass come part two, but... With that bold faced lie and the world doomed to come to an end of The Last of Us. With a final death count of 138. Not nearly as much as I thought it would be, but we still passed the 100 mark, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very proud of myself for completing spring with only two deaths. You've only had two deaths in this episode. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I love this game. I really do love this game. Uh, it is the perfect game to me between challenge, storytelling, and character development. It's so good. If you've watched every step of the way, thank you guys so much. And even if you've watched this game, give it a play. Part two coming out in just a handful of days. You can expect a let's play, full let's play first attempt on this channel. I'm so happy to have completed this with you guys. So happy to share this journey. And for the last time on this episode, or on this series of Let's Play Menace, The Last of Us, Thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay safe, be safe, and wash your hands. And I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Please watch these credits. These guys made a fantastic game. I will let the credits play through. I love you guys. Bye!
If you're still watching, you really do deserve a cookie. Thank you guys so much. I love you.